5,700 pounds on the nose and coming back with new life like Lazarus, the 24 RBS J flight here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a model that had actually been discontinued from Midwest production at one point and it was only available on the West Coast. And then it has clawed and fought and scraped its way back to not only prominence, but dominance. It's, uh, actually, this is uh, effectively just a stick-built um, version of a very popular model that we sell in great numbers here at Haylet RV, and that is the 248 RBS Coachman Freedom Express, which is a lightweight. Um, so this will effectively, the offset will be, that one will be lighter, this one will be less expensive, but they're both, you could say, equivalently equipped, equivalent value, just money spent in different areas. And that's what I want to focus on in this video, is what makes this so popular, and why has the J-Flight family of travel trailers been the number one selling RV period since 2005 and counting? Um, also, why would you ever want to buy one of these from Haylet RV when you can get one, it seems like, at every street corner because Jayco dealers are everywhere. That's actually one of the reasons you would want to buy a Jayco is because there are Jayco dealers everywhere. You can get service anywhere and everywhere. Um, and So there's always a dealer around the corner to take care of you. Also, this is one of the few things I contribute as a major factor to the success of any Jayco RV, but specifically the J-Flight travel trailers here at Haylet. Um, that is the fact that they have the longest full inclusive warranty in the business. There is no one else that exceeds a full two year bumper to hitch warranty out there. Now, how did they achieve that? Better quality control is part of it, but uh, it starts with superior materials, superior processes. And I wanna point out some of those differences because at a glance, you can find other travel trailers that look remarkably like this out there. But again, this is the number one of number ones. Why is that? Well, a little detail stuff, like the fact that they've got bigger, wider baggage doors that are also taller. You can see you've got a huge cavernous pass-through storage compartment, all LED lighting inside and out, even marker lights, which is not even standard on um, luxury fifth wheels. Jayco top seals every exterior component just as an extra layer of weather protection prevention, just another thing that keeps the outside from getting inside. Um, these ride on a custom-built chassis. It's custom-engineered uh, specifically for Jayco's uses in the J-Flight floor plans. And uh, the easiest way to tell that is it features an integrated A-frame. There's nothing wrong with a traditional tacked-on A-frame like we're seeing right here. It's fine. But what this does for us is it allows for the chassis to actually ride a little bit lower to the ground. Actually, about six inches in this case, the thickness of the A-frame beam. So what Jayco did here is they left it the exact same height outside, but when the floor dropped, it made it taller inside. It's taller inside without being taller outside. And I think that's a huge part. That's the other thing I contribute as a massive critical success in the J flight lines. Um, you can kind of see it here. Also, the extra attention to detail, like wrapping the diamond plate down around the extended chassis, things like that. Um, the uh, you've got bigger propane tanks. You got the faster operating, higher grade power tongue jack and awning. The uh, power awning is easy tilt. Literally two fingers can tilt the awning on this. And uh, LED lighting, even speakers in the awning. Uh, all your windows are UV tinted. That is not industry standard stuff at this price point in a stick built trailer. You have quite a few out there still that do not have tinted windows. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay, but this is better because it keeps your RV cooler, gives you more privacy. All the windows open in a J flight. That's another nudge up. You know, they're not just flat panel windows. So that's the whole story here. There's good and there's better. And basically any category you pick, your J flights are gonna be better, such as the Goodyear Endurance radial tires that you're riding on here. They're just using the best American source tires they could get their hands on in the towable business. And there's other fine things out there. This is better. Um, the Magnum Truss roof system. Uh, it holds some silly number like 4,200 pounds. Uh, it, it's, there's and a normal, trailer roof holds 28 and there's nothing wrong with that some people will argue that the j flight roof is overbuilt why do you need a 4200 pound roof and i actually do understand and respect that logic but the reason i still point this out is because when you start getting heavy snow load on this thing year after year if you go to the races and you want to stand on top of it um, if you just want something that is structurally that much thicker better stronger for long-term use and ownership 
this is your camper. There's plenty of other stick-built trailers out there, but there's only one J-Flight. And that's why it's it's still the flagship trailer here at Halo RV after all these years. Now, um, this floor plane, like I said, it came back from the dead. Literally. It was dead. It was discontinued for several years. And they revised it, and they revamped it, and they gave it new life, and it is exactly what the market's looking for right now. It never used to have this little outside kitchenette. And by the way, it's a real sink with a real drain that drains into a gray tank, not onto the ground. That's another one of those things J-Flight does. Here at Halo RV, I've, I've learned to recognize those differences. They do the extra things the others don't. And that might mean a little bit of extra money, but it's, what is it worth to you guys? It's, this is the one that is campsite friendly. Um, 18 gallon per hour water heater. They actually nitro fill the tires. For a long time, they were actually using um, blue tire caps, but uh, evidently they quit doing that. They went back to green. Maybe that's just more normal. I'm not sure. You know, the bigger entry handle, a wider 30 inch entry door way before a lot of guys were doing that. That's J-Flight stuff. Now, the one that we're looking at here in this video is not necessarily the one that we have in stock. For instance, we added the thermal package to this bad boy. This uh, just truly, literally upgrades it to the equivalent uh, insulation package of an Eagle fifth wheel. They're enclosing the underbelly. They had a layer of thermal uh, radiant foil insulation down there. They had an extra, well, they add a layer of um, residential batten insulation to really, really bulk up the underbelly. Now, this always has an insulated slide out. With, uh, but uh, which is another thing that J flights do better than industry standard. They actually have insulated slide floors, which is not normal. Now, they have also uh, effectively everything they've done in the underbelly, they've done above in that they've added an extra layer of insulation plus the radiant foil insulation to really bulk this thing up. Um, now, we will typically build these with a bigger air conditioner here at Halid RV. And another thing I want to mention is that uh, there are different interior decors available. This is one of them. It's that very safe neutral brown with the creamy vanilla accents. And you know what, guys? We'll quit stocking this and they'll quit building it when you quit buying it. You know, it's just, it's just that simple. It's a safe option. Now, the camera is being not friendly with me right now. This cabinetry is not black as it appears currently. When I get closer, you can clearly see that. But Jayco's done such a good job of giving this a light, dark contrast. The digital cameras have trouble processing it, so things get white and black. Um, this is a very nice, comfortable floor plan. One of the things I love to point out in a J-Flight is that they're taller inside, which is funny because all of the qualities that I think make this such a stud unique, uh, well, a stud uh, product here, they are also found on that lightweight Freedom Express, the 248 RBS that we have here at Halo RV. It's two versions of the same thing. One laminated and lightweight, one stick built. They're, they're, it's, <laughs> it just depends on which flavor you like. They both have benefits, the other does not. Um, when this floor plan was originally failing, it used to have only a two bench dinette right here. When they upgraded this to a U-dinette, they had to stretch the floor plan to do that. So the camper actually got a little bit longer, but that actually meant more living space. And it took it from uh, the feeling, that intangible quality, you know, the thing that you cannot quantify, it no longer felt small, but it felt right. And that's really the thing. It now feels just right. Lots of windows help that. And something I like on the J flights here at Haylet RV, this is very uncommon, is they're fully trimmed out on the windows. And what I've noticed is these window nightshade anchors right here, they, they're working better now than they ever have been because they have something like something to really screw into and bite into. Now the table here is free floating. If you want to fold that down to use it like a coffee table in front of the rear facing sofa that you're, I'm standing next to currently, you can't see. If you want to fold that down for a sleeper, you want to take it outside for a picnic table, it only does everything. Now you've got easy access to the storage below your bench seating here, and to make it even easier, Jayco actually included a, a set of very simple, seemingly not impressive totes. But this is an extra thing they've done that Brand X doesn't do. And it's those differences that separate the J-Flight from so many other brands. Even here at Halid RV, this is not the price-sensitive travel trailer. This is a feature-sensitive travel trailer. It is the most heavily loaded, appointed, equipped travel trailer in its class. There is one other trailer that may give this thing a real good run for its money. Thankfully, we also carry it here at Halo RV. It's called a Cherokee, and it's it's an awesome product. Now, um, 
We typically uh, get your TVs put in these. We like to have them shipped loose from Jayco so that you're the first people to touch them. I wish we didn't have to catalog them. Unfortunately, if we don't do that, they find a way to walk themselves down the highway in the back of someone's pickup truck, which is not good for anybody. Um, still satellite prepped. Uh, AM, FM, CD, Bluetooth player, DVD, blah, 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 everything's got that. High def inputs on the front. And notice too, again, difference in Jayco. They're actually running the high def wiring. They're not still using low def wiring. Um, J Flight is, was the first, and is one of the few that still has the larger eight cubic foot uh, fifth wheel refrigerator as opposed to a six cubic foot travel trailer fridge. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong with a six cubic foot fridge and freezer. But this is just 33% bigger now, isn't it? And tell me when more cold storage is ever the wrong answer. And it's not. That's a trick question. It's always the right answer. <laughs> um, moving back here. I love how they also touched up the rear bathroom. This is far more flowing and user-friendly than it was in the past. And one of my favorite things on J-Flights, because of the extra interior height with their 6 foot 9 inch ceiling, as opposed to a 6 and a half foot ceiling, is I can stand in this thing without my head in the bubble. And I like that. I'm a tall guy and that drives me nuts in so many things. Now, as I spin the camera around here, trying not to make you motion sick, it'll take a minute to focus. There it goes. You can see you've got lots of leg room in front of that porcelain foot flush stool. We have storage below an adult size sink you can actually get your hands in and wash. And one of the best parts about a rear bathroom, right there, that big closet. That big closet gives you the long-term use and heavy packing storage that you want. So this is a couple's camper but it can easily sleep the grandkids because the dinette and the sofa can fold down and you also have the storage to be able to pull off several people in this little couple's camper. Now, I, I love how they didn't remove storage above the sofa on that privacy wall right there. It's a, it's a partial privacy wall, I guess you could call it. But they, they didn't... Um, they didn't cheat anything. It still has the window by the, the fold-down sleeper sofa. There's still storage below it. There's storage above it. You can see that uh, to make this thing look and feel even bigger, they've got the big skylight just letting in a flood of ambient exterior light out here. Very nice if you're boondocking so you don't got to burn up all your lights on batteries. Plus, you do still have a, a shade to pull that close so you're not burning your brains out if you're standing under it here in the kitchen. Um, and because the cabinets are taller, they can throw a shelf in them and double your cabinet storage. So even where other brands seem like they're equivalent with the J Flight, they're not. And that's one of the things I've learned to look for here at Halo RV. That's why I like carrying different brands of campers, guys. They are all the best for a different reason. Every RV, even the ones I don't carry, I hate to say that, but it's true, are the best for different reasons. But little things like this. If you feel back here, this is called the style. You can see that the, you can feel that this is pocket screwed. It's screwed together. It's not stapled. It's not glued. It is screwed and tattooed, my friends. Partial, sta well, actually, pretty much full stainless appliance bundle right here in the kitchen. Really sharp, modern looking. That is a real tile backsplash. Not a cheap wallpaper. It's just sharper, nicer. And they've changed up their sink covers this year. They've done this pretty much across the board at Jayco. It's going over very well. You've got a normal uh, cutting board style sink cover. And then you've got this handy little roll away aluminum drying rack right below your pull out sprayer faucet right here. Um, you can also listen, do the, I call it the wedding ring test. Do this all the time. You can hear metal. It's not plastic. It's nicer stuff. That's going to hold together longer below the sink. Ta-da! Room for a wastebasket. I point that out because that's a miss on so many brands. Start looking at drawers, count them up. One, two, three, four. A lot of brands, they'll give you two right here. Um, if you're lucky, they'll give you a third one. But in a Jayco, they give you drawers to the floors. And I like that. I really like that. Um, let's see here. I've talked about different decors. I like the, the pretend feet on the sofa to make you look like it feels at home. This is another little thing they do. They include the little armrest bolsters there just to give you a little comfort factor. And it helps visibly define the sofa a little bit better. It's just little detail stuff like that that they're just killing it in here. So up here... Here's another thing they're doing different on the J flights at Halet RV. They're not using camp queens. They're using true queen. 60 by 80 true queen. And what's better, that is a Simmons mattress. That is a way better mattress than you typically get in this business. That's an easy lift bed deck. It's even... Now, uh, materials. I mentioned outside how they use better materials. Then I really never substantiated that much. Let me back up a step. Um, some campers, very few, but some have a 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood floor deck. Uh, plywood has a greater strength across the span than 4x8 sheets of OSB. It won't squeak because it's kind of stuck together. Now, 
I'm not really aware of other trailers in this category. I don't know if there is another trailer in this category that also has plywood tongue and groove uh, roof decking. That's just pretty much unheard of. And understand luxury fifth wheels don't have that. But that's the Jayco at Haywood RV. That's, that's the better. There's good. There's acceptable. There's good. There's better. This is in the better category all the way through, guys. Whatever you're looking for, this qualifies for better. And there's great RVs out there. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I, 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 there's other brands out here that I look at all the time. I go, oh my gosh, these things are amazing. Like in this category, we also carry um, the uh, Springdale by Keystone, which is Keystone's literal number one selling product on the market. We carry your, your Cherokees by Forest River, which is number two overall behind only this thing. And they all do things I look at. Every one go, oh man, if I could just merge you together and make one monster camper. But the trick with doing that is it'd be way too heavy, big, and expensive. <laughs> you know, you have to kind of pick and choose which features are most important to you. And that's why here at Halid RV, we put together these videos to help you des decide and learn which RV is the best for you, especially first timers. First timer RVs, I've noticed uh, they people say, well, I just, I, just, I just need to be able to sleep this many people with this much weight so my vehicle can tow it. But you never take into account how the floor plan works and fits for you and your family. That's what we're trying to help you do at Halitz. Help you find your second RV first. So I think we've accomplished our goals today. We learned why this is so popular, why it's great, why it came back from the dead, why it's now very popular, and why you should consider Halitz RV for your choice in a, in a J flight, whether it's this one or whatever one. You know, I've gone almost 16 and a half minutes now yammering on about this stuff. Imagine how much time we'll spend with you when you actually visit us here at our dealership. And that's all we need is the opportunity to meet you guys. And we only do everything at Halid RV, which is why we have this huge parts and service center over here. We only do everything at Halid RV. And what's crazy is this is not the entirety of it. We have just as much service space on the other side that you're not seeing right now. We are a full service dealer. We also specialize in towing vehicles to be your everything dealer. We understand every ounce of this because we camp too. And I think that's the difference. We don't just sell them, we also use them. So we look at them the way you look at them. With that, look forward to hearing from you, everybody. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.